What is up guys and welcome back to the vlog. Today's vlog may seem like we're kind of starting in like a bad vibe and let me tell you what's going on. I, I'm not on social media too often. Obviously, I post YouTube videos for you guys. I'm on Snapchat here and there. I post a couple tweets every day. But I just became aware of everything in the huge famine that is going on in Somalia right now. I actually just checked out Casey's video uh, with Wampa and Jerome. And I'm just now becoming aware of this situation. And I have an insane amount of chills running through my body watching Casey's video. Uh, Casey is someone who I look up to uh, in the vlogging world. You know, I hope that one day my vlogs will be as good as his. Watching this video and just seeing everyone come together to work for this cause of, you know, possibly relieving this famine in Somalia, They've raised $2 million, nearly $2 million in three days. And that is just absolutely mind blowing. And it's so refreshing and it feels like it's almost heartwarming to see everyone coming together to, you know, help this relief and to help relieve Somalia. It's just, it's mind blowing to me. I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. With that being said, you know, there's there's so many articles you guys can look it up on Google. You can check out Casey's video. He has the links in the bottom of his description. I wanna be a part of this. I wanna be able to help as much as I can. So with that being said, I'm also gonna put that GoFundMe link to help this relief uh, in Somalia. What they're doing is Turkish Airlines agreed to pretty much send a 60 ton plane full of food and water and supplies and everything over to Somalia, which Casey better explains in his video. So pretty much what they're doing for this GoFundMe is they're raising all this money to purchase all the supplies and everything to go inside of Turkish Airlines that is gonna be heading over to Somalia. So if you guys could, obviously I know some of you guys cannot donate, but if you could just spare a few dollars, check out the GoFundMe link in the top of the description and this this is a huge this is a huge deal and this is all big because of social media a bunch of influencers are getting together to help relief in somalia and not only social media influencers and social influencers but you guys can help as well so please just do me a favor check out that gofundme link and let's get into today's vlog first place i had to run off to today was the bank Next is the car wash. My car hasn't really gotten a good bath in quite a while. She got a bath like a week ago, but the next day we had that huge like pollen storm and Devin's car was in the garage. So my car just ended up getting completely filthy today. She's getting cleaned up. So I got my car all cleaned up today, but I doubt she's gonna stay clean for long. It is just so dirty in Las Vegas. Like she already got a ton of dust on her but she's looking pretty good. I'm meeting Rachel out right now at Casa Don Juan's about to get some Mexican food, maybe grab like a quesadilla or something. I told you guys I have an addiction and it just so happens to be Mexican food. I know lately I've been hitting you guys with a lot of hashtag ad, hashtag sponsors. Here comes another one. Listen, I'm fat and if there's one thing I know, it's good food. And if you've never had a carne asada tortas, then you are missing out on life. Uh, Roberto's in Vegas has good carne asada tortas. Casa Don Juan's where we're at right now has good carne asada tortas. Where you're from, find the nearest Mexican restaurant and get one of these things because I'm telling you, it is fucking amazing. Just got back to the house not too long ago from Casa Don Juan's meeting up with Devin. Some good news and bad news. His interview went really, really well. Only thing is the only position they have available right now is a graveyard shift and Devin really doesn't want to work overnight and doing stuff like that. So I think he's just going to stay at his other job until possibly maybe a different position becomes available with the state. And then after that, I've been telling you guys for a while, we were going to do the smoke grenades before we left and Chloe ended up chewing up the cannon fuse. I just hit up Nick. As soon as Devin's done doing whatever it is that he's doing to his car, him and I are both gonna go for a quick drive, head over to Nick's, pick up some cannon fuse, come back here, and then make some DIY smoke grenades. We ran to Nick's, we got the cannon fuse, and I have not driven my four-wheeler in quite some time. My GoPro battery is dead, unfortunately. I'm gonna have to charge that up. But in the meantime, I think I'm gonna bring my quad for a little spin around the block and uh, drive it since it hasn't been driven in a while. Just brought my other baby for a spin around the block a few times. And now listen, before y'all roast me, you're gonna wear the tread on your tires for driving on the street. Listen, I am well aware, driving on the street is not my concern right now. 
because I'm getting a trailer and then I'm also going to get paddle tires so I can ride this in the desert. I'm pretty much just driving around the streets right now for the break-in period so I'm not going over a shit ton of fucking bumps, getting a ton of sand and everything clogged in the fucking motor before I get my first oil change. So that's why I'm riding it on the street right now. I am well aware that it's going to wear the tread down on the tires. That's what happens with tires and you drive them on the street. As I'm sure all of you are well aware, I have not driven my car in quite some time. I actually hit up my buddy Jim from Euro Squad and apparently there's a new car meet that's starting up out here in Las Vegas. It's called Euro Mondays and it's where all the old Euro Squad meets used to be. So I think Devin and I are actually going to head over there and check that out before we do these DIY smoke bombs because neither one of us have really driven our car in quite some time so we're gonna go on a little cruise check this place out come back and then do the smoke grenades so we just got to the car meet we're about 30 minutes into the meet and look how many cars there already is it wraps around down there and then there's a ton over there there's more people here at this meet in the first 40 minutes or whatever than there is at any Euro Squad meetup I've ever been to. It is now close to midnight. We just stayed at that car meet. We ended up eating at that place there. It's called Lazy Dog, I think. But dude, tonight was crazy. There was over like 35 cars there. Really good turnout. Tons of people just talking about cars and shit. Devin and I are just cruising home, taking our casual time. We're about to pull into our neighborhood. Devin goes to turn right at a stop sign. I'm approaching the stop sign. Now, mind you, this is a four-way stop. And I'm getting close to the stop sign. And the next thing I hear, and I'm like, what the fuck? And a fucking Hellcat Challenger blew through that fucking stop sign, like going sideways to us. Probably, he, Dev, what do you think he was doing? He was at doing least at least 100. at least 100 through this fucking stop sign. So Dev and I like go try and follow him. And then next thing you know, we're going around a turn. This guy's fucking hauling ass backwards going the other fucking way. And then he ended up turning into a neighborhood. But God damn was he fucking on the... He was beating the hell out of that fucking car. But anyways, enough of the car shit. Uh, we just got home and we're going to set up how to make the DIY smoke bomb. We're not gonna do it tonight, just for the simple fact, one, it's late, two, it's dark, you guys aren't really gonna be able to see it. So we're gonna make it tonight, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that, and then tomorrow morning, we're gonna set off the smoke grenade so that way you guys can see it in the daytime. But pretty much what you're gonna need from this, from my understanding, is some small Coca-Cola cans, some ping pong balls, some can infuse, and some super glue. So let's get into this and see, what? Oh, hot glue. What I say, super glue? Yeah. Meant hot glue. So now we pretty much got all our supplies together that we need. We got the can infused, we got the hot glue, we got the ping pong balls, and then we got cans of Pepsi instead of uh, Coca-Cola. But you guys can see that they're like the, the smaller cans. So now the main point of this video that you really need to do in order to make this successful is you have to take these ping pong balls and cut them up into tiny little pieces. Now, normal people would probably use scissors. Me, on the other hand, I'm gonna try using a blender and see if we can blend up all of these ping pong balls. Hopefully this works. Yeah, so to start off, we're just gonna do a few ping pong balls at a time. Just because one, I don't wanna ruin my ninja, even though I probably am. And two, just to see if it even works. All right, so we got that in there. It definitely... Some of the ping pong balls aren't breaking up, but that's fine. Um, Dad, let's grab a paper towel and we'll lay out all the ping pong ball pieces on the paper towel. All right. God damn, that smells. Do you smell that? Uh -uh. Oh, that does not smell good. Will you grab that ping pong ball, though? Yeah, this smells so bad. Can you crack that door, too, please? Devin's over here freaking trying to go after a fly or a moth or some shit. But in the meantime, I'm gonna continue blending up some more ping pong balls. Devin went ahead and emptied out a soda can. We have the ping pong balls all blended up. Now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take all of these pieces and fill up a soda can. 
Uh, I don't know if we're gonna have enough to fill the entire soda can, but I think if we could fill up most of it, we should be okay. So with all the ping pong balls, I'm not too sure if you guys can see, but we damn near filled up this whole soda can. Now we're gonna wanna cut a fuse long enough that will go down into the ping pong balls and also stick out a decent amount because I'm not too sure how fast this fuse is gonna burn. So I do want enough time to be able to step back so I'm not inhaling a shit ton of ping pong smoke. And Dev just went ahead and cut the size of the fuse that we're gonna need. And then you wanna turn the bottle cap around. You're gonna stick the fuse right through the center of the bottle cap, kinda wiggle the ping pong balls around so that way you can make sure the fuse is getting all the way down in there, which it should be. Is it all the way down in there? And now we're gonna have to heat up the hot glue gun and use the hot glue to pretty much create a seal around this can and fuse and around the top of the can like this whole area right here. Now that we got the hot glue gun heated up, probably not heated up all the way because Devin is so fucking impatient right now. You're the last one to be talking about. Oh, this. shut it. We're gonna work on sealing off the top of the can as you guys can tell. This is gonna be probably the most difficult part because we are using hot glue and hot glue likes to run. <laughs> run. Is your refrigerator running? Well, if it is, you better go fucking catch it. Anyways. Devin's gonna continue sealing off the top of the can. And then once that's completely sealed, uh, that's pretty much the final step of the process. And then you just light it. And if all goes as planned, uh, it should create what is a smoke grenade. So we're gonna work on sealing the rest of this off 100%. And then tomorrow morning in the daytime, we are gonna light this bitch and hopefully shit gets smoky. It is currently the next day. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning. I had the best night's sleep last night that I've had in quite some time. But anyways, without further ado, I know you guys are probably ready to see this smoke grenade and see if this works. So if you guys want to see this smoke grenade, what I need to do right now is go and smash that like button and let's set this shit off and see if it works. Alrighty guys, so right here I have the can set up. I do apologize for all the background noise, but today is the day that most of the lawn people are going by and taking care of everyone's yard. So you guys can probably hear the leaf blower in the background. Let's light this thing on fire and see if this works. Holy shit. Well, it's uh, that's definitely working. I am gonna piss my neighbors off with that one. Oh, it smells so bad. Oh. Ooh, well, it works. Uh, that fuse actually burnt really quick. If we had a slower burning fuse, that definitely would have lasted a lot longer. Oh my god, it smells. I gotta go inside. <laughs> I'm actually pretty impressed with that smoke grenade. Believe it or not, that made a ton of smoke. I just had to hurry up and get inside because that stuff, you probably shouldn't be breathing that in when you do it. I was not expecting there to be that much smoke. My whole backyard would have been smoky if we had a longer fuse, let's just say that. That is pretty much gonna wrap it up for this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, if you enjoyed, please smash that like button. I would really, really appreciate it. Like I said, I think that smoke grenade turned out pretty damn well. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please head over, hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure you turn on my post notifications so you guys never miss a new video, and I will see you guys tomorrow. It rains again.